Welcome back to Career Power Hyderabad, powered by Adda 24-7. So students, this video is the weekly section-wise revision. So our very popular series in our YouTube channel. So please like this video, share this video with all your friends. Join the Telegram channel and also you can download the Career Power Hyderabad app. We'll provide the link in the description as well as comment section. We are currently available in Google Play Store as well as App Store. So we do have offline classes. So in our branches, Dilshinagar, Amir Pet, Kukatpalli. So do visit our branch for further details. Okay, students. So every Monday we have a very fresh batch in our institute. Okay, so new batches will start every Monday. So you can visit the branch or call the branch for further details. So let us go into this video. So this video will be discussed in section wise. National, international, state, uh, banking, uh, important days, miscellaneous news. So let us see the first section for today, national news. So the first question in the national news, Union Minister Jitendra Singh dedicates Sardar Patel Leadership Center in which of the following city? So Jitendra Singh, who is the union's uh, minister, so he dedicated the Sardar Patel Leadership Center to the nation in which of the following city? The answer is Musori. So in Musori, the Union Minister Jitendra Singh, so he dedicated uh, the Sardar Patel Leadership Center, which was inaugurated at Labasana. So this Labasana is the training center for the civil servants. So Labasana National, uh, Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy of Administration. So here, civil, center, civil servants training jarutadi. So that is Musori lo ondan mata. So this is Musori center lo, Sardar Patel Leadership Center ani oka kotta vevasthani stapin charu. So, Dean Union Minister Jitender Singh inaugurate Chesar. So, he Vavasani Rastri Ekta Devas, Edet October 31st, Mana Sadar Valabe Patel Janabdinum. So, Aroj in inaugurate Chedun Jarigindi. So, Rastri Ekta Devas, this will be celebrated on October 31st, which is the birth anniversary of Sadar Valabe Patel. And Migdalsu, Sadar Valabe Patel, Bharat Desi Yoka All India Services. Yoka Vavasta Pakudu, so Aina, All India Services, Aina, Tirchididder, modern All India Service. So, so Patel is commonly called the Patreon Saint of the Indian Civil Servants. So, Sadar Patel Leadership Center was launched in Musori. So, next question Narendra Singh Tomar, who is the Union Agriculture Minister, he inaugurated Apple Festival in which of the following state or union territory? So, Apple Festival was launched in Jammu and Kashmir. So, Union Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar along with Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha of Jammu and Kashmir. So, they virtually inaugurated this Apple Festival. So, this festival is conducted for the first time in Srinagar. So, Madhati Sarga Jarutunan Mata Srinagar Loi Festival. So, Apple Festival and Mata. So, this is the Apple Pandinche Raituluki at like a Konugol Daralki Waka platform lag airport than Mata. So, this will provide a platform for the Apple growers and the uh, buyers, the stakeholders. Okay, and Apple's production guru in choose net late. So, Jammu and Kashmir contributes to 87 percent of the national production. So, 87 percent national production share Jammu and Kashmir in choice today. At like a yoka Apple production made the Apple farming made the nearly 30 percent of the population is depending on it. So, 30 percent population only Apple production made the Jeevan Adharan Sagisthar. So, this is Apple Festival which was conducted in Srinagar, Jammu and Kashmir for the first time. So next, Ganga Utsav, the river festival is celebrated during which of the following dates? So Ganga Utsav river festival was celebrated from November 1st to November 3rd. So November 1st to November 3rd, Majlo, Ganga Utsav river festival, Nadi Utsav, ni conduct chasna ran mata. Okay na? So this is Ganga river ke kaakunda, desunla onna anni nadulu yokka gopatana ni mano ee celebrate chaise kodan ki yokka day, Ganga Utsav anna day chala jala upyav parthundi. So ee particular event ni launch chesin varu union minister for jal shakti gajendra singh sekawat so gajendra singh sekawat the union jal shakti minister so he inaugurated this event okay so this event is organized by the national mission for clean ganga along with the ministry of jal shakti okay so the day marks the announcement of river ganga as the national river on november 4th 2008 so november 4th 2008 lo ganga river ni mana Jatiya Nadi Kinda Prakatinchuran Jarigindi. So, our Ozina Manam Ganga Utswam, November 1st to 3rd Ganga Utswam Manam Jarukodan Jarutundi. And also this year will be the part of the 75 years of independence. So, Dabai Aidil Sauchno Independence Day 
మనం ఆజాద్కి అమృత్ మహోత్సవం సెలబ్రేట్ చేసుకుంటున్నాం సో ఈవెంట్ అందులో కూడా ఒక భాగంగా మనం సెలబ్రేట్ చేయడం జరుగుతుంది ఓకే సో నేషనల్ మిషన్ ఫర్ క్లీన్ గంగా గురించి చూసినట్లయితే సో ఇట్ ఈస్ అ రిజిస్టర్డ్ సొసైటీ ఆన్ టూ సో టూ థౌజండ్ అండ్ లెవెన్ అగస్ట్ రిజిస్టర్ చేశారు ఈ నేషనల్ మిషన్ ఫర్ క్లీన్ గంగా దెన్ కరెంట్ డైరెక్టర్ వచ్చి రాజీవ్ రంజన్ మిశ్రా సో వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇది సో రాజీవ్ రంజన్ మిశ్రా ఈజ్ ద డైరెక్టర్ జనరల్ ఆఫ్ నేషనల్ మిషన్ ఫర్ క్లీన్ గంగా రీసెంట్లీ అపాయింటెడ్ పర్సన్ సో దట్ ఈస్ వై ఇంపార్టెంట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఎయిమ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ నేషనల్ మిషన్ ఫర్ క్లీన్ గంగా ది మెయిన్ ఎయిమ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ నేషనల్ మిషన్ ఫర్ క్లీన్ గంగా ఈజ్ ఫర్ ది ఎఫెక్టివ్ అబేట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ పొల్యూషన్ అండ్ ది రిజర్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ గంగా రివర్ సో గంగా నదిలో పొల్యూషన్ కంట్రోల్కి అట్లాగే గంగా నదిని మళ్ళీ ఈ యొక్క కలుష కలుష కలుషిత రహిత నది కింద చే చేయటమే ఈ యొక్క నేషనల్ మిషన్ ఫర్ క్లీన్ గంగా ఆబ్జెక్టు ఓకే అండ్ ఆల్సో టు మెయింటైన్ ఎకలాజికల్ ఫ్లోస్ ఇన్ రివర్ గంగా అండ్ ఏమింగ్ వాటర్ క్వాలిటీ అండ్ సస్టైనబిలిటీ సో వాటర్ క్వాలిటీ మెయింటైన్ చేయడం కూడా దీని యొక్క నెక్స్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఆబ్జెక్టు సో నేషనల్ మిషన్ ఫర్ క్లీన్ గంగా రాజీవ్ రంజన్ మిశ్రా ఈజ్ ది డైరెక్టర్ జనరల్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ రిమంబర్ నా కమింగ్ టు నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫీట్ లాంగ్ శ్రీ ఆది శంకరాచార్య స్టాచ్యూ వేయింగ్ థర్టీ ఫైవ్ టన్స్ వాస్ కన్స్ట్రక్టెడ్ బై మైసూర్ బేస్డ్ స్కల్ప్చర్ హూ ఈస్ ది స్కల్ప్చర్ సో ఈ యొక్క విగ్రహాన్ని తీర్చి తీర్చిదిద్దింది ఎవరు సో ది ఆన్సర్ ఈజ్ అర్జున్ యోగిరాజ్ సో మైసూర్ బేస్డ్ స్కల్ప్చర్ అర్జున్ యోగిరాజ్ హ్యాస్ క్రియేటెడ్ దిస్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫీట్ లాంగ్ ఆది శంకరాచార్య స్టాచ్యూ ఓకే సో దిస్ స్టాచ్యూ వాజ్ ఇనాగ్రేటెడ్ ఇన్ కేదర్నాథ్ బై ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ ఓకే సో పిఎం హ్యాస్ ఇనాగ్రేటెడ్ హీ హీ అన్వీల్డ్ దిస్ ఆది శంకరాచార్య సమాధి అండ్ స్టాచ్యూ ఇన్ కేదర్నాథ్ ఓకే సో బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ది టూ థౌజండ్ థర్టీన్ కేదర్నాథ్ ఫ్లడ్ డ్యామేజ్ వాజ్ హ్యాపెన్ టు దిస్ సమాధి ఏరియా సో అగైన్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ రీజియన్ వాజ్ రీవ్యాంపడ్ రీకన్స్ట్రక్టెడ్ అండ్ నౌ ఇనాగ్రేటెడ్ బై పిఎం మోడీ సో దిస్ సమాధి ది ఆది శంకరాచార్య సమాధి ఈజ్ ది ఫైనల్ రెస్టింగ్ ప్లేస్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ది ప్రెమిసెస్ ఆఫ్ కేదర్నాథ్ టెంపుల్ ఇన్ రుద్రప్రయాగ్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఉత్తరాఖండ్ సో ఈ యొక్క సమాధి ఈ ఆది శంకరాచార్య సమాధి ఈ పర్టికులర్ ఈ ప్లేస్ అంతా కూడా టూ థౌజండ్ థర్టీన్లో జరిగిన కేదర్నాథ్ ఫ్ల ఫ్లడ్స్లో ధ్వంసం అవడం జరిగింది సో దాన్ని మళ్ళీ పునఃప్రారంభించి పునఃప్రారంభించారు ఈ ఈ మధ్య కాలంలో పిఎం మోడీ సో ఇది ఈ పర్టికులర్ సమాధి గురించి సో దిస్ స్టాచ్యూ ఈజ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫీట్ లాంగ్ వెయిస్ థర్టీ ఫైవ్ టన్స్ దట్ ఈస్ నియర్లీ థర్టీ ఫైవ్ థౌజండ్ కేజీస్ అండ్ ఇట్ వాజ్ కన్స్ట్రక్టెడ్ బై అర్జున్ యోగిరాజ్ సో ప్లీజ్ రిమెంబర్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ లెట్ ఎస్ సీ ఫ్యూ డీటెయిల్స్ అబౌట్ ఆది శంకరాచార్య సో ఆది శంకరాచార్య మరొక పేరీనికి ఆది శంకర సో హీ ప్రొనౌన్స్డ్ హీ ప్రొఫౌండెడ్ ది డాక్టరిన్ ఆఫ్ అద్వైత సో అద్వైత వేదాంతాన్ని మన ప్రచురించిన వారు ఓకే సో హీ డిడ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ కమెంట్రీస్ ఆన్ ది వేదిక్ కెన ఆన్ ది ఉపనిషత్స్ ది బ్రహ్మ సూత్రాస్ ది భగవద్గీత ఇన్ సాన్స్క్రిట్ సో హీ రోట్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ కమెంట్రీస్ ఆన్ ఆల్ దీస్ బుక్స్ and also he is responsible for reviving hinduism in india when buddhism was flourishing so when buddhism was flourishing adi shankaracharya fought for the revival of hinduism for the development of hinduism so hindu matanni pararakshakuduga ina aina kartavya nirvahincharu so he established four matas in the four corners of india and the tradition continues till date so adi shankaracharya ki sambandhinchina matalu untai mana desam nalumulalo kuda so this is about adi shankaracharya so very very important personality so please remember definite question so next we will see international news okay important international news so microsoft has taken over which uh, uh, company to become the largest uh, company by market cap so microsoft has taken over which company uh, to become the largest market cap okay so just a minute okay just a minute okay so microsoft has taken over which company to become the largest company by market cap so the answer is apple so microsoft suppressed apple to become the largest company by market capitalization okay so microsoft corporation so you know this is uh, in the world's uh, largest uh, tech companies one of the tech companies so they suppressed apple company to ke- to become the world's most valuable publicly traded company by the market capitalization so what is this market capitalization so market capitalization simply called market cap which is the market value of publicly traded company outstanding shares okay so market capitalization ante so mana 
ఈ యొక్క స్టాక్ మార్కెట్లో ఎంత షేర్స్ ఉన్నాయి ఒక కంపెనీది ఓకే ఆ కంపెనీ షేర్ వాల్యూ ఎంత సో ఎంతమంది దగ్గర షేర్స్ ఉన్నాయి ఒక్కొక్క షేర్ వాల్యూ ఎంత సో దాన్ని మనం క్యాల్కులేట్ చేస్తే కంపెనీ యొక్క విలువ తెలుస్తుంది అన్నమాట ఒక కంపెనీ విలువను మనం ఎట్లా డిసైడ్ చేస్తామో ఆ కంపెనీకి మార్కెట్లో ఉన్న షేర్స్ అట్లాగే అది ఆ మార్కెట్లో ఉన్న షేర్కి యొక్క వాల్యూ సో మైక్రోసాఫ్ట్ చూసినట్లయితే మైక్రోసాఫ్ట్కి సపోజ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్గా తీసుకున్నట్లయితే మైక్రోసాఫ్ట్ షేర్స్ ఒక ప పది లక్షల షేర్లు బయట మార్కెట్లో ఉన్నాయి ప్రజల దగ్గర ఒక్కొక్క షేర్ వాల్యూ వెయ్యి రూపాయలు అనుకుందాం పది లక్షలు ఇంటూ వెయ్యి రూపాయలు అది మైక్రోసాఫ్ట్ యొక్క షేర్ వాల్యూ టోటల్ మార్కెట్ వాల్యూ యాపిల్ చూసుకుందాం ఒక ఐదు లక్షల షేర్లు ఉన్నాయి బయట మార్కెట్లో ఒక వెయ్యి మంది దగ్గర వెయ్యి రూపాయల షేర్ ఐదు లక్షలు అంటూ వెయ్యి రూపాయలు అది యాపిల్ కంపెనీ షేర్ మార్కెట్ వాల్యూ అవుతుంది సో మార్కెట్ క్యాపిటలైజేషన్ ఆర్ మార్కెట్ క్యాప్ ఈ సింప్లీ ది మార్క్ వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ పబ్లిక్లీ ట్రేడెడ్ కం కంపెనీస్ అవుట్ స్టాండింగ్ షేర్స్ ఓకే సో మార్కెట్ క్యాపిటలైజేషన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ది షేర్ ప్రైజ్ మల్టిప్లైడ్ బై ది నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ షేర్స్ అవుట్ స్టాండింగ్ షేర్ ప్రైజ్ మల్టిప్లైడ్ బై షేర్స్ అవుట్ స్టాండింగ్ అంటే షేర్ విలువ ఇంటూ ఎన్ని షేర్లు బయట మార్కెట్లో ఉన్నాయి సో వెయ్యి రూపాయలు ఇంటూ పది లక్షలు ఓకే సో మైక్రోసాఫ్ట్ వాజ్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్డ్ ఇన్ నైన్టీన్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ హెడ్ క్వార్టర్డ్ ఇన్ రెడ్ మాన్ ఇన్ వాషింగ్టన్ స్టేట్ యుఎస్ఏ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ మైక్రోసాఫ్ట్ సో మైక్రోసాఫ్ట్ సప్పజ్ యాపిల్ టు బీ ది వరల్డ్స్ మోస్ట్ వాల్యుబుల్ పబ్లిక్లీ ట్రేడెడ్ కంపెనీ సో నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ డబ్ల్యూహెచ్ఓ హ్యాస్ రీసెంట్లీ గ్రాంటెడ్ ఎమర్జెన్సీ యూజ్ లిస్టింగ్ ఓకే సో ఫర్ విచ్ వ్యాక్సిన్ సో డబ్ల్యూహెచ్ఓ హ్యాస్ గివెన్ ఎమర్జెన్సీ యూజ్ లిస్టింగ్ ఫర్ విచ్ వ్యాక్సిన్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ఇండియన్ మేడ్ వ్యాక్సిన్ సో ఏ వ్యాక్సిన్ కి మొన్న డబ్ల్యూహెచ్ఓ పర్మిషన్ ఇవ్వడం జరిగింది సో ది ఆన్సర్ ఈజ్ కోవాక్సిన్ యు నో ది ఆన్సర్ ఈజ్ కోవాక్సిన్ సో కోవాక్సిన్ వాజ్ డెవలప్డ్ బై భారత్ బయోటెక్ ఇన్ కొలాబరేషన్ విత్ ది ఇండియన్ కౌన్సిల్ ఆఫ్ మెడికల్ రీసెర్చ్ ఓకే యు నో ఇండియన్ కౌన్సిల్ ఆఫ్ మెడికల్ రీసెర్చ్ ఈజ్ ది ఎఫెక్ట్స్ బాడీ ఇన్ ఇండియా ఫర్ ఫార్ములేషన్ కోఆర్డినేషన్ ప్రమోషన్ ఆఫ్ బయోమెడికల్ రీసెర్చ్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్డ్ ఇన్ నైన్టీన్ ఫార్టీ నైన్ హెడ్ క్వార్టర్డ్ ఇన్ న్యూ ఢిల్లీ సో భారత్ బయోటెక్ అట్లాగే మన ఐసీఎంఆర్ వీళ్ళిద్దరూ కలిపి ఐసీఎంఆర్ మీరు ఈ జమ్ ఈ మధ్య న్యూస్లో ఎక్కువగా చూసారు ఐసీఎంఆర్ ఐసీఎంఆర్ అని చెప్పి ఐసీఎంఆర్ అన్నది ఇండియాలో నైన్టీన్ ఫార్టీ నైన్లో స్థాపించారు సో ఇది మెయిన్గా ఏంటంటే ఇట్స్ అన్ ఎఫెక్ట్స్ బాడీ హెడ్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ది బయోమెడికల్ రీసెర్చ్ ఇన్ ఇండియా సో బోత్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ డెవలప్డ్ దిస్ కోవాక్సిన్ సో దిస్ కోవాక్సిన్ వాజ్ గివెన్ పర్మిషన్ ఓకే ఫర్ ఎమర్జెన్సీ యూజ్ ఆథరైజేషన్ ఓకే ది అదర్ కోవిడ్ వ్యాక్సిన్స్ విచ్ వర్ అప్రూవ్డ్ బై డబ్ల్యూహెచ్ఓ సో ఈ యొక్క వ్యాక్సిన్స్ ఎయిట్ వ్యాక్సిన్స్నే డబ్ల్యూహెచ్ఓ ఓకే ప్రపంచ ఆరోగ్య సంస్థ ఎప్రూవ్ చేసిన వ్యాక్సిన్స్ సో అవి చూసినట్లయితే మోడ్రానా ఫ్రమ్ యుఎస్ఏ ఫైజర్ వ్యాక్సిన్ విచ్ ఇస్ బిల్డ్ బై అమెరికన్ అండ్ జర్మన్ సో జాన్సన్ అండ్ జాన్సన్ వ్యాక్సిన్ విచ్ వాజ్ బిల్డ్ బై బెల్జియం అండ్ అమెరికన్ ఆక్స్ఫర్డ్ ఆస్ట్రాజెనికా బై బ్రిటిష్ అండ్ స్వీడిష్ కొలాబరేటెడ్ ఫర్ టు బిల్డ్ దిస్ ఆక్స్ఫర్డ్ ఆస్ట్రాజెనికా వ్యాక్సిన్ అండ్ సీరమ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా విచ్ ఇస్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఇన్ ఇండియా అదే డెవలప్డ్ కోవిషీల్డ్ ఓకే విత్ సేమ్ ఫార్ములేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆక్స్ఫర్డ్ ఆస్ట్రాజెనికా కోవాక్సిన్ డెవలప్డ్ ఇన్ ఇండియా బై భారత్ బయోటెక్ సినోఫామ్ దే డెవలప్డ్ వ్యాక్సిన్ దే ఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ చైనా సినోవ్యాక్ ఆర్ కరోనా వ్యాక్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఫ్రమ్ చైనా సో దీస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ ది వ్యాక్సిన్స్ అప్రూవ్డ్ బై ది డబ్ల్యూహెచ్ఓ మోడ్రానా ఫైజర్ జాన్సన్ అండ్ జాన్సన్ ఆక్స్ఫర్డ్ ఆస్ట్రోజెనికా సీరమ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ కోవిషీల్డ్ కోవాక్సిన్ సినోఫామ్ వ్యాక్సిన్ అండ్ సినోవాక్ వ్యాక్సిన్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ ది వ్యాక్సిన్స్ అప్రూవ్డ్ బై డబ్ల్యూహెచ్ఓ లెట్ ఇస్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ డబ్ల్యూహెచ్ఓ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్డ్ ఇన్ నైన్టీన్ ఫార్టీ ఎయిట్ హెడ్ క్వార్టర్డ్ ఇన్ జెనీవా and the current director general very very popular this person is present in news from the past 2 years dr trudas other norm so this this is about who very very important for the exams so next question which uh, country de- introduced a bill to declare diwali as a national festival so which country the answer is united states so united states congress woman okay caroline uh, maloney so she introduced this bill in the uh, house in the house of commons okay so uh, this bill is to declare the day of diwali as a national holiday so diwali pandaga rojuna mottham america ki selavu prakatinchalani mana congress woman caroline avada oka bill pravesh pettar anamata akkada unna parliament lo house of commons lo okay ee
So you know the answer. The answer is Britain. So Britain is the first country to approve a tablet form to treat COVID-19. Pill and tablet rupaman mata. Okay. So this uh, tablet is uh, named the antiviral uh, monopirivir. Okay. So monopirivir is the uh, antiviral tablet developed uh, by the Merck, Sharp and Dome uh, company. So ca called commonly called the MSD company. So MSD and Ridgeback Biotherapeutics, uh, both of them developed this uh, antiviral drug. So this drug was given uh, approval, okay, and this drug uh, showed lot of effectiveness in reducing the risk of hospitalization and death in the people with mild to moderate COVID-19 symptoms. So every day mild to moderate COVID-19 symptoms are there. While the drug, the tablet, which one do, while chala response to be chalan mata so. Uh, risk tagging the tablet use shade of So, and the can JP, e tablet ni Britain Prabutton, the ni Amadun Telipindi. So, e tablet ni even Pulisaru, it's an antiviral called Monopiruvia. So, Monopiruvia is this antiviral. Okay, so this antiviral was developed by MSD, Merck Sharp Dome Company, as well as Ridgeback Biotherapeutics. Okay, so both of them developed this pill. So, next. Uh, which country announced that they have stopped providing service in mainland China with effect from November 1st? So, which this is a web browser. This company said they are coming out of this company, also coming out of China. So, what is the name of the company? The company is Yahoo. So, Yahoo declared that it is stopping its services in China. So, Yahoo is facing a lot of challenge, business challenge in the country of China. So, that is why they have stopped uh, their entire presence in China. So, it's it's been 22 years uh, since they are uh, present in the Chinese market and they are providing services like Yahoo Weather, Yahoo Finance and also other uh, elements like uh, AOL.com, TechCrunch and uh, Engadget. All these things are provided in China. So from now you will not have any of these services in China, Yahoo. Okay. Earlier LinkedIn also said they are closing their business. So China lo upadu Yahoo declaration the memo China ninch bite cost money. So, October Nello, LinkedIn Koda, Memo, China Lo, Ma Business Santa Koda, Apasno, and Prakadinchon and Jerry. Okay. So, this is about Yahoo. So, Yahoo is an American based web service provider. So, they provide web portal, search engine, Yahoo Search, and related services like My Yahoo, Yahoo Mail, Yahoo News, Yahoo Finance, Yahoo Sports, and also their advertising platform, Yahoo Native. So, Yahoo was established in 1994 before Google. Google was established in 1998. Yahoo was established in 1994. It's a sensation then in the entire web market. So it is headquartered in California, USA. So now we'll go to state news. We'll see two important state news. So which state chief minister, A. Rastra Mukhyamantri, Uttam Beach portal, uh, so which state chief minister has launched the Uttam Beach portal, which will benefit the farmers uh, by providing quality seeds with their transparency. Okay. So, Uttam Beach portal was launched by which state chief minister? The answer is Haryana. So, Haryana chief minister Manohar Lal Khattar. So, he launched the Uttam Beach portal. So, this will benefit the farmers of Haryana by providing them with quality seeds with transparency. Okay. So, this is mainly to ensure quality of the certified seeds. So, this seed portal will be linked with Mary Fassal, um, Mary Fassal, Mera Biora portal. Okay. And also the family identity card. So, using this portal, generally this uh, portal, Mary Fassal, Mary Pura portal, they offer uh, particulars of all the farmers' land uh, for whom they have given on contract, uh, what uh, crops they should promote, all these things you will find in this portal. So, farmers now will get good quality seeds, they can improve their manufacturing, they can improve their revenue. So, this is the use of this Uttam Beach portal and also Mary Fassal portal. So, Haryana Governor, Pandaru Dattatraya. Haryana Chief Minister, you know Manohar Lal Khattar. Okay. So next question, the second national tribal festival was observed in which of the following states? So it is conducted in which state? Tribal festival, national tribal festival. So it is conducted in the state of Chhattisgarh. Okay. So Adivasi Pandaga. So Jati Adivasi Pandaga in Akkada Prarambhin Charu Chhattisgarh. Okay. So this was launched in the Raipur Science College ground as a part of the tourism promotion of the state. It was inaugurated by the Chief Minister of Jharkhand, Hemant Soren and Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Bhupesh Bagal. So this event is clubbed with the uh, Chhattisgarh's uh, Rajatotsava event, the State Formation Day event which is on November 1st. Okay. So in this festival, so tribal communities from various countries have participated. 
So from countries like Uzbekistan, Nigeria, Sri Lanka, Uganda, Syria, Mali, Palestine and Eswatin. So from all these countries, uh, the tribals have participated and also tribals from within the state, within uh, the Chhattisgarh, from the Bastar district, Dantewa district, Korea district, uh, Korba district, Bilaspur district, from uh, Garyaband uh, area, from Mainpur, from Dura, from Damtari, from Sur uh, Surguja, from Jashpur, from all these uh, areas in Chhattisgarh, the tribal, the tribal artists, uh, they have participated in this festival to represent their culture, to represent their tradition. Okay, so Chhattisgarh Governor Anusia Yuki and Chhattisgarh Chief Minister, you know, Bhupesh Bagal. So next we'll see appointments, very, very important topic, appointments. So he is the new chairperson of National Company Law Appellate Tribunal. The new chairperson of Company Law Appellate Tribunal is Ashok Bhushan. So Ashok Bhushan is the new chairperson of Company Law Appellate Tribunal. As well as Justice Ramalingam Sudhakar is the new president of National Company Law Tribunal. So for National Company Law Appellate Tribunal, it is Justice Ashok Bhushan. And for Company Law Tribunal, it is Justice Ramalingam Sudhakar. So this is about the National Company Law Appellate Tribunal appointments. Now we will see what is this Company Law Appellate Tribunal. It is constituted under Section 410 of the Companies Act, mainly to hear appeals against the orders of the Company Law Tribunals. So there are Company Law Tribunals in India to hear the judgments okay to hear the cases filed on the appellate tribunal you will find i mean on these uh, 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 tribunals you will find in appellate tribunal okay so next what is where, what type of appeals you will uh, hear in this appellate tribunal you can hear appeals against the orders of company law tribunals against the insolvency bankruptcy board of india and also against the competition commission of india so e company law appellate tribunal lo mano AMM petitions are made. So, this is company law tribunal judgments, insolvency, bankruptcy code in judgments, and the competition commission of India is made judgments. judgments you can uh, go to appeal, you can go to appeal the appellate tribunal. So, that is the company law tribunal. If you have any issues in the company, you can resolve the issues in the company, the company law tribunal. Okay, our company ki prabutwan kochana issues in a result chasun to that matter. Okay, so this was established in 2016. It was recommended by Balakrishna Iradi Committee. So this company, this appellate, this law tribunal was recommended by Balakrishna Iradi Committee. Okay, so this is about company law tribunal and company law appellate tribunal. Rundit ki difference on the choose kondi very, very important. So next question who was appointed as on the board of trustees for the prestigious? Smithsonian National Museum of Asian Art. So, who was appointed? It is Isha Ambani. So, Isha Ambani was appointed. Okay. So, for the Smithsonian Board of Trustees. Okay. She was appointed to this board. So, the current board member of Reliance Geo, board member of Reliance Geo, Reliance Retail, Reliance Foundation, Isha Ambani. She was appointed for the Smithsonian National Museum of Asian Art for four years. Okay. So, this uh, Smithsonian National uh, uh, Museum was opened as a freer gallery of art in 1923. So, this museum will celebrate its uh, 100 years in 2023, which is located in Washington. So, this museum is collection of Asian art of more than 45,000 objects, which are dating from the Neolithic period to the present period. Okay. So, from nearly from far uh, east, uh, China, Japan, Korea, Southeast Asia, from the Islamic world. From all these areas, you will find the articrafts, uh, you will find the collection in this particular museum. So, Isha Ambani was appointed to the board of trustees of the Smithsonian National Museum. So, next, uh, who was appointed as the DG of FICE, Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. So, Yavani Nimincharu, Director General Kinda for FICE, the answer is Arun Chawla. So, Arun Chawla was appointed as the Director General of Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. Okay, so Arun Chawla, uh, 2011 lo fikki lo jai yaru. So currently, I am Deputy Secretary General. So open in jai na Director General ka budgetal naru hisdaru. So fikki kirin choose na the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. It's a non-governmental trade association advocacy group. So it was established on the advice of uh, Mahatma Gandhi by J D Birla and Purushottam Das Thakur Das. 
So it was established way back in 1927. Headquarters is in New Delhi. Current president Uday Shankar. So these are the details about FICI. So please remember very very important organizations. Next question. Um, okay. So next question. So who among the following has uh, replaced uh, just uh, Tele? Okay, as the CEO of Barclays. So this person is an Indian origin. So he is Venkat Krishnan. So Venkat Krishnan is the new CEO of Barclays Bank. So Venkat Krishnan, Indian American Venkat Krishnan will be now uh, the first person of uh, Indian origin to be the CEO of Barclays Bank. Okay, so he, earlier he worked as the Barclays co-president and head of global markets and also chief risk officer. Now he will be the CEO of the bank. So this Barclays is a British multinational universal bank. You will find uh, branches all over the world. So Barclays was established in 1690, very oldest bank in UK. So it is headquartered in London. So Barclays Bank CEO is new CEO is CS Venkat Krishnan. So now we'll see schemes, very very important schemes and companies uh, this uh, week. So Union Minister for Corp Cooperation, you know Amit Shah, his home and also newly uh, created Ministry Cooperation. So he is a Minister of Cooperation. He launched a Dairy Shahkar scheme. So how much money was allocated to this Dairy Shahkar scheme? So 5,000 crores was allocated to this Dairy Sahakar scheme. Okay. So Amul celebrates uh, the 75th foundation year. So on the eve of um, uh, the Amul 75 years, uh, Dairy Sahakar scheme was launched. So with a total outlay of uh, 5,000 crores, uh, this scheme was launched. This scheme will be implemented by the National Cooperative Development Cooperation. Okay. The main aim of this scheme is to strengthen the dairy sector, double the farmer income and also to realize the vision of uh, from cooperation to prosperity. So, Aidi Vail Kotil to Ipatakan Praramin Charu, Ipatakan Ni Nirvin Chedavaru, National Cooperative Development Corporation. So, while Mukya Udyas Venti, Ipadu Parishrama Dairy Sector Ni Strengthen Chedam, Atlake Raithul Yakadaya Ni Penchatam, Atlake Prosperity Tis Kradam, Wilki. Manchi, life this scheme is the main aim. Okay? So, this scheme is the financial support. So, financial support will be given to the bovine development, milk procurement, milk processing, quality assurance, value addition, branding, packaging, marketing, transport, storage, exports. So, for all these things, sir, uh, the scheme will be used. The scheme's money will be used. So, National Cooperative Development Corporation established in 1963, headquartered in New Delhi. With the main aim, okay, to plan, promote programs for production, processing, marketing, storage, export, import of agricultural produce, food stuff, industrial goods, livestock and certain other notified commodities. So their main aim is to improve the production, processing, marketing, storage, export, import of goods in India. So next question, India's first manned ocean mission, officially inaugurated by Jitendra Singh. What is the name of the mission? So ocean mission, first India's first Manned Ocean Mission. What is the name of the mission? It is Samudriyan. So, Samudriyan project. So, Union Minister Jitendra Singh, he launched this uh, manned ocean mission called Samudriyan. So, you can see the picture. So, it will be like a small um, uh, submarine, mini submarine, where uh, people, manned people, okay, they will have a pilot who will run this, uh, operate this mission, mini submarine, and he will go into the deep ocean to study the ecosystem. So, Samudran law, your research activities go so is Samudriyan project in Tiskrad and Jarin. So mainly to carry out subsea activities. So this uh, mission is named Matsya 6000. And with this India joins the elite club of USA, Russia, Japan, France and China who are already having this technology. So Deen Thoti, your technology Thoti Mano, Prapanjalona, Kunni Desalone technology Preston Kaval Bulgundi, USA, Russia, Japan, France and China. Okay. So this was uh, developed by the National Institute of Ocean Technology, this particular manned project, Samudhyan project. So this will conduct a deep ocean exploration of non-living resources, okay, located at a depth of 1000 to 5500 meters. So National Institute of Ocean Technology established 1993, headquarters Chennai. The main aim is to develop reliable indigenous technologies to solve various engineering problems associated with the harvesting of living and non-living resources in India's exclusive economic zone. So, Mukhya Udyaswanti, your organization, to develop technology to solve engineering problems. Okay. 
so this is about the national institute of ocean technology so next uh, question uh, so who has announced this central government okay uh, ayushman cap of healthcare scheme so who announced this scheme it was announced by amit shah okay so ayushman cap of healthcare scheme extension was announced by amit shah so union home minister amit shah has extended the benefits of ayushman cap of healthcare scheme to all the central armed police forces to all the families of central armed police forces so upun ninje entante ee ayushman cap of healthcare scheme dwara cap of central armed police forces ante paramilitary forces edaithe crp of bsf itbp ssb ee anni unnayo vallu vallu kutumbalu ikka nunchi ayushman bharat scheme kinda vallu kuda health facilities ivadam jarugutundi so idi kendra హోమ్ మంత్రిత్వ శాఖ అట్లాగే నేషనల్ హెల్త్ అథారిటీ ఇద్దరు కూడా జాయింట్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ అనమాట సో ఇక్కడ నుంచి క్యాష్లెస్ ఇన్ పేషెంట్ అవుట్ పేషెంట్ ఫెసిలిటీస్ ఇస్తారు సిఎఫ్ఈఎఫ్ పర్సనల్ అట్లాగే వాళ్ళ ఫ్యామిలీస్కి కూడా ఓకే సో దిస్ విల్ బి కవరింగ్ నియర్లీ త్రీ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మిలియన్ సిఎఫ్ఈఎఫ్ పర్సనల్ ఓకే ఇట్ విల్ కవర్ ఆల్ ది ఒఫీషియల్స్ సర్వ్ ఆల్ ది పర్సనల్ అండ్ దేర్ డిపెండెన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ది సెవెన్ ఫోర్సెస్ సో ఏదైతే అస్సాం రైఫిల్స్ బిఎస్ఎఫ్ ఎస్ఎస్బి సహస్ర సీమాబాల్ Central Armed Reserve Force, Central Industrial Security Force, NSG and Indo-Tibetan Border Police. So, any organizations could have a scheme to implement this scheme. So, what is this Aishman Bharat Pradhan Mandri Jana Aragya Yojana? ENT scheme. So, it's a public health insurance fund. So, where government aims to provide free access to health care coverage. And this scheme was launched in 2018. And according to this scheme, 5 lakh per family will be given for secondary care and tertiary care. అసలు ఏంటి ఆయుష్మాన్ భారత్ ప్రధాన మంత్రి జన ఆరోగ్య యోజన స్కీమ్ సో ఈ స్కీమ్ ప్రకారం ప్రతి కుటుంబానికి ఐదు లక్షల వరకు ఇన్సూరెన్స్ ఇవ్వడం జరుగుతుంది హెల్త్ ఇన్సూరెన్స్ సో ఈ హెల్త్ ఇన్సూరెన్స్ తో మీరు ఏదైనా ప్రభుత్వ హాస్పిటల్ లో కానీ ప్రైవేట్ హాస్పిటల్ లో కానీ మీరు చికిత్స పొందచ్చు అనమాట సో దట్ ఈస్ ది స్కీమ్ సో దిస్ స్కీమ్ ఈజ్ ఇంప్లిమెంటెడ్ బై ది నేషనల్ హెల్త్ అథారిటీ సో నేషనల్ హెల్త్ అథారిటీ అని రెండు వేల పద్దెనిమిదిలో స్థాపించి ఈ యొక్క స్కీమ్ ఇంప్లిమెంటేషన్ కోసం యూజ్ చేస్తున్నాం ఈ యొక్క ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఓకే now we'll see summits two important questions in summits 2020 g20 was held in 2020 g20 summit ekkada jarigindi rome italy so g20 meda already man oka video chesa aa video ni watch cheyandi link meek description lo ivadam jarugutundi very very important g20 summit so g20 summit ended with the adoption of rome declaration g20 summit was held in rome italy on october 30 31st this is the 16th meeting of the summit and headed by the prime minister of italy mario dagri so finally they have adopted the rome declaration okay next question glasgow climate summit 2021 india to reach net zero carbon emissions by so by the glasgow in the glasgow summit climate summit 2021 india promised to reach a net zero carbon emissions by 2070 so 2070 kalla net zero carbon emissions so carbon uddara lekunda 2070 2020 kalla chestam ani cheppi bharat desa pradhani maate ivadam jarigindi okay so it is uh, cop 26 un climate change conference was held from october 31st to november 12 and it was hosted by united kingdom so this year marks the 26th conference of parties which is simply called cop 26 it was held in glasgow which is in scotland so pm modi stressed on the five point plan or panchamrit plan okay so this is a five point plan let us see what is that five point five point plan okay so pm uh, announced that uh, india will reach net zero carbon emissions by 2070 china announced it will reach by 2060 and us and european union announced by they will reach uh, zero carbon emissions by 2050 so try to remember gutu pettukondi india ait 2070 kalla china 2060 kalla us european union 2050 kalla so carbon uddaralu zero chaasamani promise cheyadam jarigindi so modi cheppina aidu ప్లా ఐదు మిషన్స్ ఏంటి ఈ పంచామృత్ ఏంటంటే ఇండియా విల్ అచీవ్ కార్బన్ ఎమిషన్స్ నెట్ జీరో కార్బన్ ఎమిషన్స్ బై ట్వంటీ సెవెంటీ నాన్ ఫాజల్ ఫ్యూయల్ ఎనర్జీ కెపాసిటీ ఆఫ్ ఫైవ్ థౌజండ్ మెగా ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ మెగావాట్స్ బై ట్వంటీ థర్టీ సో నాన్ ఫాజల్ ఎనర్జీ కెపాసిటీస్ అంటే ఏదైతే మనం ఈ సోలార్ ఎనర్జీ విండ్ ఎనర్జీ వీటి మీద అట్లాగే ఇండియా విల్ అచీవ్ ఫిఫ్టీ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ రిక్వైర్మెంట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ రెన్యూబుల్ ఎనర్జీ బై ట్వంటీ థర్టీ india will reduce the projected carbon emissions by 1 billion by 2030 india will reduce carbon intensity to less than 45 percent by 2030 so these are the five goals of india in the announced in the climate change so we remember very very important 
Now we will see important awards, okay, only one award uh, this week, okay, so two, three awards in this week. So how many sports person have been elected, I mean selected for major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratna award? So total 12 were given the major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratna award. We made a video on major, I mean uh, the awards, national sports awards. I will give you the link in the description, you can watch the video, very, very important for all exams. So next, which university has won the Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad? Trophy, Maka Trophy. So, who won the Maka Trophy? The answer is Punjab University in Chandigarh. So, Chanda, Chandigarh, Punjab University, this is the 16th time to win this uh, trophy. Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad Trophy. Okay. So, which Indian cricketer won the Arjuna Award? So, who won the Arjuna Award? Shikhar Dhawan. So, Shikhar Dhawan won the Arjuna Award. So, who among the following was not awarded the Dhyan Chand Khel Ratne Award? So, who were given Dhyan Chand Khel Ratne Award? Total 12 were given. Neeru Chopra was given, Ravi Kumar Dahiya was given, PR Srijesh was given, Loblina Borgohoi was given. So, Mirabai Chanu was uh, not given the Dhyan Chand Award. So, please remember Dhyan Chand Khel Ratna Award, earlier called the Raju Gandhi Khel Ratna Award. So, remember very, very important. So, next, uh, South African author, so Demon Gulgach, uh, Galgach, so he uh, wins the Booker Prize for his book. What is the name of the book? So, the name of the book is The Promise. For the book, The Promise, so Demon was, uh, he won the Booker Prize. So, this Booker Prize is very easy, very prestigious uh, prize of uh, United Kingdom. Okay. So, uh, he was uh, uh, given the prize uh, this year. So, if you see about the details of Booker Prize, it's a literacy, uh, literature award, okay, awarded every year for the best novel written in English, published in United Kingdom and Ireland. And it was first awarded in 1969 with a cash prize of 50,000 pounds. So, this is the prize money in this Booker Prize. So, very prestigious award. So, there is same way there is one more uh, prize called the International Booker Prize. The sister for Booker Prize. So, the International Booker Prize is awarded to the book translated into English, published in United Kingdom or Ireland with a cash, same cash prize, 50,000 pounds. Okay, 50,000 pounds. Okay, so this uh, prize will be shared between the author and translator. So, International Booker Prize means, International Booker Prize at ENT. So, Yedeta Postko, English Vashalo Kanuvadinchi, United Kingdom, Mario, Ireland, lo published Chesaro, our book ki, our manchi book ki, International Booker Prize is there. English Vashalo Rasi, United Kingdom, Ireland, lo Prechirinch and Postkan ki, Booker Prize is there. So, that is the difference between Man Booker Prize and International Man Booker Prize. So, International Man Booker Prize went to David Dio, okay, and also for the translator Anna Moskovakis, for Anna Moskovakis and for the author David Dio, the International Booker Prize was given this year, okay, and for the book, and the name of the book is At Night All Blood is Black. So, this book was written by David Dio and translated by Anna Moskovakis. So, both of them were given the International Prize and who won the National Prize? So, Damon, uh, Damon won the national prize, I mean Booker Prize, Man Booker Prize, okay. Now, we will see business news. So, which bank has approved 250 million loan for India's National Industrial Corridor Development Program? So, National Industrial Corridor Development Program, it is a prestigious program of Union Government. So, which bank approved 250 million loan? The answer is ADB, Asian Development Bank. So, Asian Development Bank has approved 250 million, which is nearly... 1875 crores loan to support India's National Industrial Corridor Development Program. Okay, so this uh, Industrial Corridor Program, okay, is an ambitious infrastructure program aiming to develop new industrial cities as smart cities by converging new generation technologies. So 11 corridor projects were identified. Okay, so what are those 11 projects? Here is the list. Okay, you can see the list, the 11 industrial corridors which are identified for development. Now, let us discuss about ADB. ADB is a regional development bank established in 1966. It is headquartered in Manila, Philippines. It is currently having 68 members of which 49 are from Asia itself. As of 2019, Japan and USA are the largest shareholders followed by China, then India, then Australia. The main aim of the bank is to promote social and economic development in Asia. Okay. So, Prapancha, Lona Pramukha Bank, Asian Development Bank. So, Dan Gurinj Kony details. Okay. The next question, which of the following has launched a whistleblower portal? 
okay as a part of the vigilance awareness week celebrations so which organization has launched the whistleblowers portal the answer is ireda so indian renewable energy development agency has launched this whistleblowers uh, portal as a part of their vigilance awareness week celebrations okay so this portal will be used by the employees uh, to raise concerns related to fraud corruption abuse of power and other things so that is the use of this whistle whistleblowers portal so indian renewable energy development agency so it's a public limited company okay established as an nbfc non banking financial institution in 1987 they are engaged in promoting developing extending financial assistance for setting up projects related to new and renewable sources okay they have motive energy forever energy forever is the motive of the renewable energy development agency so it is headquartered in new delhi so these are the details so next question niti ayog world bank they set up 300 million first loan risk sharing instrument to facilitate a program for faster and easing financing of electric vehicles so which bank is acting as a program manager for this scheme so sbi state bank of india is acting as a program manager for this scheme okay so current rate of interest for electric two wheelers and three wheelers is in the range of 20 to 25 and with this scheme they are expected to reduce to 10 to 12% okay so this scheme amount will be used to reduce uh, the interest rates okay on two wheelers and three wheelers So let us discuss about World Bank. It is established in 1944, headquartered in Washington. President is David Malpass, and goal is reduction of poverty. Let us discuss about Niti Aayog, established in 2015, headquarters Delhi. Chairman Narendra Modi, PM will be the chairman. Vice chairman is Raju Kumar, CEO Amitabh Kant. So these are the details about the Niti Aayog. So now we will see next question. Which of the following company recently launched a tokenization solution safe card to help users meet RBI norms? So, which uh, uh, company has launched this tokenization solution safe card? The answer is Phone Pay. So, Phone Pay, Flipkart owned, currently Walmart owned Phone Pay has launched uh, this Phone Pay safe card. It's a tokenization solution for online debit and credit card transactions. For online debit and credit card chain transactions. Uh, uh they have brought up this uh, tokenization safe card okay so this will ensure it will enable phone pay users and merchant partners to continue the experiencing the convenience of saved card details okay and with increased security so this uh, particular feature is available on mastercard rupee and visa cards okay what is this tokenization so tokenization is simply nothing but adding a layer of security by converting the card holder data into a string of randomly generated numbers called tokens so very simple tokenization program so tokenization scheme ante emi ledandi so mi card details manam enter chestam kada ee flipkart loni amazon loni atlu loni purchase chesina appudu so chaala sensitive data anamata danni theft cheyochu so em chestam ante manam ikkada banks tho anusandhanam ayi ee oka data ki oka number ivadam jarugutundi randomly generated number anamata सो दीन वाल टेफ्ट जरगे अवकाश चाल तक उ फ्राड जरगे अवकाश चाल तक उ सो दट इज़ वै बी ब्राट आफ दि टोकनजेशन स्कीम ओके अंड फोन पे हाज लाच दि देर सेफ कार्ड सो अदर टोकनजेशन सोल्यूशन अंड मार्केट इफ यू सी पे यू लाचर पे यू टोकन हब सीसी एवे यू लाच टोकन के अंड रेजर पे लाच रेजर पे टोकन हेच्यू सो दीज आर् डीटेल अबउट दि टोकनजेशन स्कीम Phone Pay established 2015. It is acquired by Flipkart in the very next year, 2016. Phone Pay headquarters uh, Bengaluru and Phone Pay CEO is Samir Nigam. So these are the details about Phone Pay. Now we will see banking news. Very very important banking news. So who entered into bank insurance partner with Aditya Birla Health Insurance? Who entered into a bank insurance uh, partnership with Aditya Birla Health Insurance? The answer is a federal bank. So with the so, uh, so I mean with the support of federal bank. Aditya Birla Health Insurance have went into bank insurance bank. Now, what is this bank insurance? Bank insurance is the relationship between bank and insurance company that is aiming to offer insurance products to banks customers. Okay, so what is bank insurance? It's a relation between bank and insurance company where the insurance company will provide insurance products sir, to all the bank customers. So this is about the bank insurance between federal and a Aditya Birla. I mean Aditya. Okay, so about uh, the Aditya Birla Health Insurance. Okay, 
So let us discuss few details about the banks. So Federal Bank was established in 1931, headquarters in Aluva, Kerala. MDCO is Sham Srinivasan and the current tagline is Your Perfect Banking Partner. So this is the details about Fed Bank. Okay. So now we'll see the next question. Let us see. Let us see the next question. So let us see uh, the important other important uh, banking news uh, in this uh, section. Okay. So which uh, so which bank uh, with uh, bankbazaar.com has launched a credit card. So which bank with partnership with uh, the bankbazaar.com has launched the credit card called Fin Booster. So what is the answer? So FinBooster uh, credit card was launched by Bankbazaar.com and S-Bank. So S-Bank and Bankbazaar.com, so both of them launched a FinBooster credit card to measure the credit worthiness of customers. Okay. So Bankbazaar.com and S-Bank is the FinBooster and credit card. So this credit card is a credit fitness tracker. So this tracker is used to improve our credit score. So this is about the Fin Booster Credit Card. So S Bank established 2004, headquarters is in Mumbai. Pres CEO is Prashant Kumar. S Bank tagline: Exercise our expertise. Okay, sorry, experience our expertise. So Bankbazaar.com is a neutral online marketplace for instant customized rate quotes on loans and credit cards. So company helps uh, consumers. Uh, compare and apply for various financial products such as like credit cards, loans, insurance. So Bank Bazaar was established in 2008 and headquartered in Chennai. So this is about uh, the bankbazaar.com. So next question, Reserve Bank of India has uh, uh, recently appointed which bank as the agency bank to conduct uh, government business. So Reserve Bank of India has uh, 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 appointed which bank as the agency bank to conduct government business. So the answer is Bandhan Bank. So Bandhan Bank is appointed as the agency bank. So agency bank kante, so government is sambandhinchina activities uh, cheita, cheita me, agency bank yokka duty. Ante GST collection gaani, VAT collection gaani, state taxes collection gaani, so government badulu collection activities chese daanne agency bank center. Okay. So Bandhan Bank is appointed as agency bank. So Bandhan Bank was established in 2015. Bandhan Bank headquarters is in Kolkata. Bandhan Bank CEO is currently Chandrasekhar Ghosh and Bandhan Bank tagline Aapki bala, sabki balai. Aapki bala, sabki balai. So this is the tagline of the Bandhan Bank. Okay. So what is agency bank? It will pro, 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 perform, this bank will perform services on behalf of any entity. So agency bank will provide wide variety of services for businesses looking to expand internationally. So RBI has unpaneled banks as agency bank to provide uh, banking and payment uh, transactions for both center and state okay so this is about agency bank okay so under agency bank uh, you can collect uh, taxes uh, uh, for cbdt cbic gst you can do pension payments uh, you, you can do work related to small savings schemes uh, you can collect uh, stamp duty charges all these things uh, are done by any agency bank okay so next question uh, which bank has signed an MOU with um, uh, Indian Navy to offer defense service salary package under Power Salute? So, a bank Indian Navy to open the Power Salute and a quota salary uh, package uh, launched. Uh, so, uh, the answer is Axis Bank. So, Axis Bank and Indian Navy have launched the Power Salute defense salary package scheme. Okay. So in this uh, power salute, so this power salute package scheme lo, yaabe ar lakshal chindi na accidental cover undi. Atlagi child education grants of eight lakhs, total permanent uh, disability cover of forty six lakh, partial permanent disability cover of forty six lakh, air accidental cover of one crore, zero processing fees, and twelve EMI waivers on home loans. So these are all the benefits in this. Uh, Defense Service Salary Package under Power Salute launched by Axis Bank along with Indian Navy. So Axis Bank established 1993, headquarters Mumbai, current CEO of Axis Bank Amitabh Choudhury. Axis Bank tagline, Bharti Ka Naam Zindagi, Bharti Ka Naam Zindagi. So this is the tagline. So next question, RB has issued revised PCA Prompt Corrective Action Framework for Banks. 
So revised PCA will be effective from. So the revised PCA will be effective from January 1st, 2022. So from January 1st, 2022, this prompt corrective action framework uh, will be implemented by RBA. Okay. So they will mainly focus on ensuring, enabling supervisory intervention at appropriate time and also to act as an effective market principle. So their key areas of monitoring will be capital, asset quality and leverage. So this revised framework will be effective from January 1st, 2022. And earlier it was revised in 2017. So prompt corrective action and so RBI banks may be regulation and matter. So banks may be supervision or okay, regulation land. So banks your capital, banks your asset quality, banks your leverage. So time to time correct and monitor chase the prompt corrective action. So January 1st, 2020 ninchi, 2022 ninchi revised PCI framework ni RBI implement shadow. Jarutundi. Okay na? So this is about the PCA framework. So this PCA framework is mainly to check the non-performing assets in the banking sector. Okay. So this will help the regulators, the investor depositors. Okay. It will help in alerting them. So this framework is mainly for commercial banks. So this framework only commercial banks ke worthis tundi. Cooperative banks, non-financial, non-banking finance companies we will ki worth in chadu. This is only for the commercial bank system. So now we will see economy news. Okay, Only one single question. What is the interest rate on employees provident fund deposits for 2020-21? So EPF, EPF deposits may the interest rate yanta, yanta ka prakitin chindi prabutto and the answer is 8.5%. So 8.5% is the interest rate on employees provident fund deposits. Okay. So this year 8.5, last year also 8.5, that uh, ago year it is 8.65. So here is the table of employees provident fund interest rate. Okay. So finance ministry has approved 8.5 return on employees provident fund deposits for the year 2020-21. So this will impact uh, 6.4 crore subscribers. The rate was same even for last year. Okay. So this decision was given by the Central Board of Trustees, which is the EPFO's highest decision making body. Okay. So, what is the duty of EPFO? EPFO every year they will keep small amount as surplus and they will distribute the lion's share of income from the investment returns to all its subscribers. So, EPFO, Employees Provident Fund Organization, it's a social security organization established in 1952 under the Ministry of Labor. They mainly uh, mandate, administer uh, the Provident Fund and pension and life insurance schemes of the Indian workforce and EPFO's FX uh, decision making body is uh, the central board of trustees okay they make decisions regarding EPFO headquartered in New Delhi so please remember about EPFO very very important now we will see important agreements okay all the important agreements so which bank has partnered with NPCI to launch rupee credit card Veer for armored forces Armored forces ki pre checking a veerana credit card this card and journey rupee credit card. So, ye bank NPC a to open on yes kundi. So, the answer is Kotak Mahendra Bank. So, Kotak Mahendra Bank and NPC a has launched veer credit card for armored forces. So, this is Kotak Mahendra's first credit card on rupee network. So, cards will be available in two variants veer platinum and veer select. Okay. So, this card will have zero uh, joining fees. They will have multiple benefits uh, if you take these cards. So, Kotak Mahindra Bank established 2003, headquarters Mumbai, MD CEO Uday Kotak and bank's uh, tagline is let's make money simple. So, let us discuss about Rupee. Rupee card guru in choose net late. This is first of its kind domestic credit and debit card payment network of India as uh, developed by the NPCA in 2014. So, the name Rupee is derived from Rupee and payment. Okay. Rupee card tagline is one life, one rupee. So this is about the rupee credit card, okay, or the rupee card payment system. So next question, IRCTC and which of the following have partnered to provide passengers with greater trust in communication? IRCTC and which of them have launched, I mean, partnered to have to make a fraud free messages? So the answer is true color. So IRCTC and Truecaller have partnered to provide passengers with greater trust in the communication, to reduce fraud in railways, to ensure passengers are getting critical communication like booking details, PNR status, only delivered by IRCTC, not by any other fraud agency. 
సో ఐఆర్సిటిసి ట్రూ కాలర్ ఇద్దరు కూడా పార్ట్నర్షిప్ చేసుకున్నారు సో ఏదైతే రైల్వేస్లో జరిగే ఫ్రాడ్ సో మనకి రైల్వేస్ నుంచి మెసేజెస్ వస్తాయి సో అవి రైల్వే సంస్థ నుంచి వచ్చినాయా లేదా వేరే వాళ్ళ నుంచి వచ్చినాయా అని డిటెక్ట్ చేయడానికి ట్రూ కాలర్తో ఒప్పందం చేసుకోవడం జరిగింది సో ఈ యొక్క బుకింగ్ డీటెయిల్స్ కానీ పిఆర్ఆర్ స్టేటస్ కానీ ట్రూ కాలర్ ఏం చేస్తుంది అంటే మన ఫోన్లో ఉన్న ట్రూ కాలర్ దాన్ని వెరిఫై చేసుకుంటుంది ఐఆర్సిటీసీ నుంచి వచ్చిందా లేదా వేరే ఏదైనా ఫ్రాడ్ ఏజెన్సీస్ నుంచి వచ్చిందా అనేది వెరిఫికేషన్ చేస్తారు యూ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ ఐఆర్సిటీసీ అండ్ ట్రూ కాలర్ ఎగ్రిమెంట్ నా విల్ సి డిఫెన్స్ న్యూస్ సో తుషీల్ ఈజ్ అన్ ఇండియన్ నావీ ఫ్రిగేట్ ఆఫ్ పి వన్ వన్ త్రీ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ క్లాస్ డెవలప్డ్ బై విచ్ కంట్రీ సో దిస్ తుషీల్ ఈజ్ అ ఇండియన్ నావీ ఫ్రిగేట్ డెవలప్డ్ బై రష్యా సో దిస్ ఫ్రిగేట్ ఈజ్ ద సెవెంత్ ఫ్రిగేట్ లాంచ్డ్ ఎట్ ది ఎంతార్ ఎంతార్ షిప్ యాక్ ఓకే ఇన్ రష్యా ఓకే సో దిస్ షిప్ వాజ్ నేమ్డ్ తుషీల్ ఎ సాంస్క్రిత్ వర్డ్ విచ్ మీన్స్ ప్రొటెక్టర్ షీల్డ్ సో దిస్ ఫ్రిగేట్ విల్ బి కమిషన్ ఇన్ 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 టు ఇండియన్ నేవీ ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ సో దిస్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ వన్ వన్ త్రీ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ క్లాస్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో కాల్ ది తల్వార్ క్లాస్ ఆర్ కిర్వ క్లాస్ ఆఫ్ రష్యా ఓకే సో ఇది నేవీ ఫ్రిగేట్ అనమాట స్టెల్త్ ఫ్రిగేట్ తుషీల్ సో ఇది సెవెంత్ ఫ్రిగేట్ రష్యా డెవలప్ చేసిన ఫ్రిగేట్ ఇండియా కోసం ఇండియన్ నేవీ కోసం తయారు చేసిన ఫ్రిగేట్ సిస్టమ్ అనమాట ఇది సో దీన్ని రష్యాలో కిర్విక్ క్లాస్ అంటారు ఇండియాలో దీన్ని తల్వార్ క్లాస్ అని పిలుస్తారు సో ఇండియాకి రష్యాకి జరిగిన ఇంటర్ గవర్నమెంటల్ అగ్రిమెంట్ ద్వారా టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ నుంచి ఇప్పుడు దాకా కూడా ఈ యొక్క తల్వార్ క్లాస్ ఫ్రిగేట్స్ని రష్యా నిర్మించి భారతదేశానికి ఇవ్వడం జరుగుతుంది సో రెండు షిప్స్ని రష్యాలో తయారు చేస్తారు మరో రెండు షిప్స్ని గోవాలో తయారు చేస్తున్నారు సో ఇది ఈ ఫ్రిగేట్ క్లాస్ గురించి సో ప్రస్తుతం ఉన్న చీఫ్ ఆఫ్ నేవల్ స్టాఫ్ అడ్మిరల్ కరంబీర్ సింగ్ వైస్ చీఫ్ అడ్మిరల్ వైస్ అడ్మిరల్ ఎస్ఎం గో గవర్నమెంటే అండ్ డిప్యూటీ చీఫ్ ఆఫ్ నేవల్ స్టాఫ్ వైస్ అడ్మిరల్ రవనీత్ సింగ్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ ది నేవీ ఓకే టాప్ ది టాప్ లీడర్షిప్ ఆఫ్ నేవీ సో ప్లీజ్ రిమెంబర్ నా విల్ గో టు నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ సో ఇండియన్ ఎయిర్ ఫోర్స్ పార్టిసిపేటెడ్ ఇన్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ మల్టీ లే మల్టీ లేటరల్ కాంబ్యాట్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ బ్లూ ఫ్లాగ్ so this exercise was conducted in which country so blue flag was conducted in israel so israel has conducted this blue flag exercise okay it's a multilateral uh, exercise it's an international exercise so from india 84 indian air force personnel have participated okay the theme for the exercise is integration of fourth and fifth generation aircraft in complex operational scenarios okay so this uh, blue flag is a military aviation access held by israeli air force since 2013 so here are the pictures you can see where indian air force have participated in this exercise so this exercise uh, involves air force missions from eight countries to share the knowledge combat experience so in the deshal nunchi air force personnel in ee exercise lo palguntaru anamata vaalli oka knowledge sharing ki atlaga combat experience share cheskodaniki exercise entakana upayogapadutundi so usa uk germany uh, france italy greece israel and india have participated in this exercise so vivida deshalaku chendina aircrafts indulo participate chesina indulo rafals unnai eurofighter tycoons unnai f16 unnai f35 unnai mirage unnai anni different types of uh, fighter jets kuda ee exercise lo participate cheyadam jarigindi so israel capital jerusalem israel currency israeli shekel okay now we'll see ranks and reports very very important okay first one which state topped large states in the governance performance index according to sixth edition of public affairs index okay so a rashtra ni a rashtram pad rashtralo first rank sadinchindi in the public affairs index so the answer is kerala so kerala topped the public affairs index in large states category so this public affairs uh, uh, index is launched by the public affairs center it's a bengaluru based non profit think tank organization so this index uh, highlights the state government's uh, quality governance especially during the time of covid 19 so this uh, uh, index ranks uh, the states and union territories based on three categories equity growth sustainability okay so this year if you see the ranks among the large states kerala top among the small states sikkim top among union territories puducherry topped the list so next is about philanthropy list okay so adel give huron india philanthropy list so who topped the adel give huron india philanthropy list so the answer is ajim prem ji ajim prem ji topped the adel give huron india philanthropy list so here is the top 5 so mana desham lo 
సో ఫిలంత్రఫీ లిస్ట్ సో దాతలు దాతల లిస్ట్ చూసినట్లయితే టాప్ ఫైవ్లో మీకు అజిమ్ ప్రేమ్జీ ఉంటారు సో ఆయన గత సంవత్సరంలో నైన్ థౌజండ్ సెవెన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ థర్టీన్ క్రోర్స్ దానం చేశారు సెకండ్ ర్యాంక్ గోస్ టు శివనాథార్ ఆఫ్ హెచ్సిఎల్ థర్డ్ ర్యాంక్ ముఖేష్ అంబానీ ఆఫ్ రిలయన్స్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ ఫోర్త్ కుమార్ మంగళం బిర్లా ఆఫ్ బిర్లా ఆదిత్య బిర్లా గ్రూప్ ఫిఫ్త్ ర్యాంక్ గోస్ టు నందల్ నేల్కలేని సో హీస్ ఎ పాపులర్ టెక్ జైన్ అండ్ ఫార్మర్ ఇన్ఫో ఇన్ఫో ఇన్ఫోసియన్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ది టాప్ ఫైవ్ ఇన్ ద లిస్ట్ ఎడెల్ గివ్ హురాన్ ఇండియా లిస్ట్ ఓకే లెట్ ఎస్ సీ అబౌట్ ది ఎడెల్ గివ్ హురాన్ ఇండియా లిస్ట్ so huran india and edil give they jointly released this list so edil give foundation is a grant making organization helping build and expand philanthropy in india over the years this edil give has supported 158 organizations okay about huran india it is established in 2012 in india so they are basically a research luxury publishing events group mainly based in london they have presence in different countries so they widely recognized for their comprehensive evaluation of wealthiest individuals okay so interesting facts about this list other interesting facts if you see bollywood superstar akshay kumar donated 26 crores this year amitabh bachchan donated 15 crores uh, this year and also jeroda founder jeroda you can see this uh, jeroda very popular app now trading app so jeroda founder nikhil kamath is the youngest philanthropist on the list rohini nelkleni she is the uh, most generous women philanthropist in the list and pharma industry is the largest having largest number of philanthropists followed by auto industry then by software and service industry so these are other details of the india huran india philanthropy list 2021 so next question which uh, university has topped uh, among the indian universities in qs world university rankings 2022 so who topped the qs world university rankings 2022 among indian Indian University, this is IIT Bombay. So, IIT Bombay has topped the rankings, okay? So, 2022 QS World University Rankings or Asia University Rankings was released, okay? So, total 687 universities are present in the list. So, there is no top, uh, in top 10, there is no Indian University, okay? So, Asia University Rankings were released and there is no indian in the top 10 universities but if you see in the indian universities iit bombay has topped the list so this list is prepared by the quackerly uh, uh, simons this is a company which is specialized in analysis of higher educational institutions which was established in 1990 okay it's a london based company so they have released the asia university rankings if you see the top 5 ranks first rank went to the national university of singapore second rank went to peking university of china third rank went to nanyan technology university of singapore fourth rank went to university of hong kong fifth rank went to singyu university of china so these are the top 5 in the list no indian university is in top 10 okay now if you if you see from top 5 from india iit bombay is in top 5 iit uh delhi in the next place iit madras in third place iisc bengaluru fourth place iit karakpur is in fifth place see these are the top five from india okay bombay is ranked at 42 overall delhi 45 overall madras 54 overall bengaluru 56 overall karakpur 60 overall rank this is their overall rank okay so if you see country is with the most ranked universities so china has Uh, 126 in the list india 118 in the list japan 108 in the list korea 87 universities in the list taiwan with 46 universities in the list so this is about the top 5 countries with most ranked universities some interesting facts about this list if you see in the top central universities if you see delhi university is at 77 jnu at 107 if you see straight run universities calcutta university is ranked 154 in the overall list so japan has more universities in top 50 they have 11 universities china has 10 universities in the top 50 list so these are the details about asia university rankings qs asia university rankings very very important please remember now quickly we'll see important books and authors john land the wanderer of hindustan slanderer of hindustani lawyer for the rani so this book is authored by so this book is authored by amit ranjan so this book is a story about john land his uh, experiences in india so he is an australian journalist and a lawyer so he settled in india in 19th century he fought many cases against british he represented rani lakshmi bai 
in her legal battle against uh, the annexation of her kingdom by the East India Company. So this book is about John Lan authored by Amit Ranjan. The next book, uh, The Sage with Two Horns, Unusual Tales from Mythology. The Sage with Two Horns, Unusual Tales from Mythology. So this book is authored by Sudhamurthy. So you know Sudhamurthy who is the chair, chairperson of the Infosys Foundation. She has authored this book and these are the fifth and the last book of her series, The Unusual Tales from Mythology. Okay. So this book uh, is about stories of kings and queens, gods and gods, goddesses, sages, extraordinary men and women of wisdom. So authors and books, these two books are very, very important. First book is John Lang, this book is written in the Amit Ranjan. Next book is The Sage with Two Horns, Unusual Tales from Mythology. This book is written in the Sudha Murthy. Okay? Now we will see sports news. So sports is an important news in this week. In this week. So, Marblin Cricket Club has listed which of the following cricketer in the honorary life membership. So, India Chendina, e cricketer Siddharni Koda, Marblin Cricket Club, varu, honorary life membership. So, it goes to both Harbhajan Singh and Srinath. So, both A and B are the right answers. Harbhajan Singh and Srinath were listed, awarded the MCC life membership. Okay? So, this is the first time of the month. This is the first time of the Indians. Harbhajan Singh, one of the Srinathan Mata. So, in the Matam Padharu, male cricketers, there are female cricketers. Sara Taylor, Aras, Alage, Sara Maglashan. So, there is a MCC membership, lifetime membership. MCC board guru in Chusnet Lete, Mabelin Cricket Club. So, this club was established in 1787 in London. So, this club was the governing body of cricket before ICC. ICC Kana Mundu, cricket governing body and Mata. Upurki ICC conduct prepares in the Mabelin Cricket Club, the oldest cricket club in the world. So, this is a list of 18 cricketers. You can go through the list. This list is So, next question is, World Deaf Judo Championship was held in which country? World Jeff Deaf Judo Championship was held in which country? So, the answer is France. So, it was held in France, in Paris. World Deaf Judo Championship World was held in Paris. And from India, Jammu and Kashmir team has clinched the first position. So, Jammu and Kashmir team the first rank in the first rank championship. Lo. So, this championship an organization was the International Committee of Sports for the Deaf. So, this International Committee of Sports for the Deaf is an apex body organizing international sports events mainly for the deaf. Okay. So, this is about the championship. Okay. So, very, very important. So, Judo. Judo is a modern Japanese martial art. It's an unarmed combat. Anmata. So, it is mainly uh, the training of body and mind and also human formation. So, Judo was created in 1882 by Kano uh, Jigoro. So, Kano Jigoro developed this art in 1882. Judo. It's a modern Japanese martial art. These are the details about Judo. So, next question. The fifth uh, Rio Zaro chess championship was held in Serbia. Who won this uh, chess championship? So it is P. Inayan. So P. Inayan, Bharadesh and Chandran chess master, he won the fifth uh, Rio Zaro chess championship which was held in Serbia. Okay. So uh, the second position uh, went to uh, Russia's uh, Makarin Rudik and third position went to uh, Indian player uh, V.S. Raghul and fourth position also went to Indian player S. Nitin. So, Indian Grandmaster P. Indian. So, I in first rank the second rank is Rashak Chandan Rudik ki, third rank is Indian ki, fourth rank is Indian ki. Okay. So, please try to remember. So, next Indian boxer who won bronze medal in the 2021 Men's World Boxing Championships. So, Yavara Indian boxer Men's World Boxing Championships lo bronze medal Sadin Charu. So, the answer is Akash Kumar. So, Akash Kumar won bronze medal in the world championships, men's world championships. Okay. So, Akash Kumar ki bronze, Tomayo uh, Suboy ki Japan chendina, Tomayo Suboy ki gold chindi, Kazakhstan chendina, Makmud Sabra Khan ki silver chindi, atla ke bronze iddar ki share jesaru, okatama France chendina, Bilal uh, Benanan ki bronze, atla ke India chendina, Akash Kumar ki bronze. So, this is about the men's world championships. So, this championship was held in Belgrade between 29 October to 5th 
November. Okay. So next, let us discuss about the uh, championship. So this championship was uh, conducted by the International Boxing Association. It's an independent sport organization that sanctions uh, the Olympic style boxing matches. It awards uh, the world and subordinate championships. So this was established in 1946, headquartered in Los Angeles, Switzerland. So we'll see days. Next section we'll see important days. World Vegan Day is observed on 1st November. World Vegan Day is observed on 1st November. So this day is to promote the benefits of vegan diet and veganism in general. So vegan is a person who do not eat any food derived from animals and who do not use any other animal products. So vegan and te. So animals ni chocha food products ni consume chaydu. Atlage watli ni vadadu. Ante milk gaani, cheese gaani, ghee gaani. It won't be uh, animal products in code use chain with the vegan. Vegetarian and only vegetarian food and non vegetarian. Mansum tenanivalni, eggs, mansum tenanivalni, vegetarian and vegan and milk, eggs, cheese, ivicoda tenanivalni, vegan center. So, World Vegan Day is observed on 1st November. Next, International Day to End Impunity for Crimes Against Journalists. So, this day is observed on 2nd November. This day is observed on 2nd November. So, what is this day? Asala, yenduku e international day to end impunity for crimes against journalists. Okay. So, prapanchan lo, uh, journalist lo me jaruthu na e achya charali dhadu lo, ekku mandhi ki seksha padat le dhan maata. So, dheen me the awareness kalpichi dhan ki e day ni dhees kochar. International day to end impunity for crimes against journalists. So, journalist will make the Ruthan Dadil law, a Kumanki sexual product law. Dadil chase in war sexual product law. So, and the key rose in a Gurtinchi, the new promote child on Jaruthan. So, next world tsunami awareness day. So, tsunami awareness day is observed on 5th October. So, tsunami awareness day is mainly to spread the awareness about tsunami, the dangers of tsunami, and what to do during the time of tsunami or before tsunami. Okay. So, 2021 promotes a Sunday 7 campaign and target F of the Sunday 7 campaign. This is about the Tsunami Awareness Day. So, Sunday 7 campaign and 7 targets 7 years. So, one target. 2016 in this program we will run this year. So, this year target F will promote this year. Okay. So, mainly to encourage to implement the Sunday framework for disaster risk reduction with the goal to save lives, reduce the disaster losses and to improve the management of disaster risk. So, this is about the Tsunami Awareness Day observed on 5th November. Next is International Day for Preventing the Exploitation of Environment in War and Armed Conflict. So, International Day for Preventing the Exploitation of Environment in War and Armed Conflict. So, this day is observed annually on 6th November. So, on 6th November, International Day for Preventing the Exploitation of Environment in War and Armored Conflict is observed. So, this day uh, of this intent to educate the people about the effects of war and armored conflict on environment. So, Prakruti Meda, Yuddal Vallo Che, Yokanar Dalani, Elaunte, Prakruti Meda, Ala Prabhavitan Chaste Yanadi, Yuroj Yokamukka Yuddes one matter. So, Yuddan Jarigna Pudu. This is a natural ecosystem, the water supply, forest cover, animals. So, this is November 6th. We will promote this. Okay? Next is National Cancer Awareness Day. So, National Cancer Awareness Day is observed on November 7th. So, November 7th is for Cancer Awareness. So, in India, Cancer Awareness Day is observed on November 7th. World Cancer Day is observed on 4th February. So, choose the difference. World Cancer, World 4th February. National Cancer Awareness, 7th November. So, cancer promotion, cancer cancer problems, cancer nostalgia promote cancer awareness day. So, cancer is a large group of diseases uh, which will affect an organ or tissue and it will spread to entire body and matter. So, these ab abnormal cells, they grow uncontrollably and they invade the adjoining parts of body. This process is called metastasizing so in this metastasizing uh, these abnormal cells they'll grow and they'll spread to other parts and they'll destroy the regular functioning of body parts so cancer le emo thante abnormal ga cells grow hai pakkana organs spread hai organ regular functioning ni disturb chestai so this cancer is also called the malignant tumor then maro per anamata so generally ga males lo ni 
కామన్గా వచ్చే క్యాన్సర్స్ ఏదైతే లంగ్ ప్రోస్టేట్ కొలోరెక్టాల్ స్టమక్ అండ్ లివర్ ఇది మెయిల్స్లో వచ్చే కామన్ క్యాన్సర్స్ ఫీమేల్స్లో వచ్చే కామన్ క్యాన్సర్స్ బ్రెస్ట్ క్యాన్సర్ కొలోరెక్టాల్ క్యాన్సర్ లంగ్ సెర్వికల్ అండ్ థైరాయిడ్ క్యాన్సర్ ఉమెన్ ఫీమేల్లో వచ్చే కామన్ క్యాన్సర్స్ ఇవన్నీ కూడా ఓకే నవ్ విల్ సీ అడ్బిచరీస్ మరణాలు ఈ సా ఈ వారంలో జరిగిన ఇంపార్టెంట్ మరణాలు సో విచ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఫిలిమ్స్ ఫిలిమ్ సూపర్ స్టార్ పున్నీత్ రాజ్ కుమార్ హ్యాస్ పాస్ రీసెంట్లీ సో పున్నీత్ రాజ్ కుమార్ ఏ ఇండస్ట్రీ కన్నడ ఇండస్ట్రీ సో పాపులర్ ఫిలిం స్టార్ పున్నీత్ రాజ్ కుమార్ హీ పాస్ అవే రీసెంట్లీ హీస్ పాపులర్లీ కాల్డ్ అప్పు హీస్ ఫస్ట్ ఫిలిం ఈజ్ అప్పు సో వెరీ పర్ వెరీ హీఈస్ ఆల్సో ఏ గ్రేట్ ఫిలంత్రఫిస్ట్ హు ఈస్ సపోర్టింగ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్గనైజర్స్ ఇన్ స్కూల్స్ సో హీ పాస్ అవే రీసెంట్లీ సో నెక్స్ట్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ ఎలన్ డేవిడ్సన్ ఎలన్ డేవిడ్సన్ పాస్ అవే రీసెంట్లీ is an all-rounder of which country he belongs to which country he is an all-rounder of australia so alan davidson australia's legend so earlier cricketers of the australian team he passed away recently alan davidson so next is about a former prime minister so this person ahmed shah ahmed zee so he is a former prime minister of which country he passed away recently so he is a former prime minister of afghanistan so afghanistan former prime minister renewed jihad leader at the age of 77 he passed away in kabul he acted as a acting prime minister he served as an acting prime minister under president burhanuddin rabbani during 1995 to 1996 prior to the taliban takeover okay so this is about ahmed shah former prime minister of afghanistan who passed away recently now we'll see important miscellaneous news so which organization has announced increase in the price of matchbox so it is national small match box manufacturers association so match box price ippu nunchi 2 rupees anamata so december 1st nunchi price rise annadu untadi so 14 years tarata 2007 lo 50 paise nunchi 1 rupee chesaru 14 years tarata ippudu malli price panchadam jarigindi so price 2 rupees chesaru match sticks kuda 36 nunchi ippudu 50 match sticks isthar prati box lo so 14 key raw materials unnai match match stick tayar cheyadaniki aa price increase avadam valla ee oka match box price annadi perigindi so deenni nirdharinchindi avaru declare chesindi avaru national small match box manufacturers association so next which train has got the ims certifi- certification so ims certification ochina ee rail edi so south south railways chendina railway train edi so the answer is chennai mysore chennai shatabdi express so chennai mysore chennai shatabdi express is the first train of southern railways to receive the integrated management system certificate okay this is the first shatabdi and second express train to get the certificate the first train is habib ganj hazrat nizamuddin bopal express now it is chennai mysore chennai shatabdi express so ims certificate ante enti so ims certificate endi kistari ante for world class maintenance of the train for environmental friendly resources and for convenient and safe travel so ee conditions me the ims certificate isthar anamata so ims certificate unte that is you are providing world class services ani dan artham so the particular ims certificates are provided like 901 sorry 9001 14001 and 45001 so these are the certificates provided under the ims system okay so next question Uh, which word was chosen as the oxford english dictionary word of 2021 so year ki a word ni choose chestunnaru oxford english dictionary word kinda so this year wax was chosen as the oxford english dictionary word of the year okay so wax is derived from the latin word vaca which means cow wax is a shortcut for vaccines okay so year vaccine ana word ekkuga vaadam anamata so that is why wax word of the year wax year ki word of the year enti wax okay remember so india's first rooftop drive in theater was launched in so india's first rooftop drive in theater was launched in mumbai so mumbai lo jio world drive mall lo ne first india's first rooftop drive in theater ni launch chesar anamata so reliance retail and pvr both of them launched this particular rooftop drive in theater in the jio world drive mall okay so this facility can accommodate 290 cars and uh, the first movie screened in this uh, theater was surya vamshi of akshay kumar so rooftop theater ante cars untai uh, car lo undi manam movie ni watch cheyochu rooftop theaters anamata drive in theaters so these are all the mcqs uh, in this week okay first week of november soon we'll bring the second week of november 
so please uh, watch our videos like our videos share our videos subscribe the youtube channel join the telegram channel we'll provide the pdf in the telegram channel and all other updates in the telegram channel you can download the career power hyderabad app we'll provide the link in the description as well as a uh, uh, comment section and also offline classes every monday we'll have offline classes so do join the offline classes you can uh, call our numbers or you can visit the branch for further details we currently have branches at dilshanagar amirpet kukatpally so thank you students we'll meet in the next class with one more important uh, video related to current affairs related to bank ssc rrb sa conestable so thank you students we'll meet in the next class